Hello friends, how are you? I hope you are doing good. So let's continue with our discussion on RTP December 2021 released by ICAI for CA Intermediate. Cost accounting, right sir. So we have already done till question number three. The first was material costing, then labor costing and then overhead costing. And now we have question number four on activity based costing. See, activity based costing for new course students old course students will not be doing this right because there is no activity based costing in ipcc that is the old course and there is still one attempt december 21 is going to be the last attempt for the old course students right they don't have to do this part okay only new course students will be doing activity based costing okay before we start a humble request to all of you to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you get all the notifications and if you like the content if you are learning something out of it right hit the like button that is very important because that is a kind of encouragement for us that yes you people are watching the videos and are actually learning from the videos and that is a motivation that we should keep providing you with such content okay let's start with the question now question number four activity based costing let's see family store wants information about the profitability of the individual product lines soft drinks fresh produce and packaged food family store provides the following data for the year 2021 for each product line so this question is again from your ICI study mat that is why I always say that ICI study mat is uh, your top priority should be your top priority whenever you are practicing right after going through the concepts go with the ICI study mat after that follow any other book okay so because see the maximum part of your paper if you will analyze will come from the ICI study mat right maximum part say 50 60 percent will come from the ICI mat so why not secure those marks at least okay and for that if you get the right guidance then even with a twist of a question you will be able to attempt that question right guidance is very 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 important sir right and that is what we have provided in our ICI SM course the special guidance we have provided that is important for you people right some of uh, you might be thinking that it is a cost for us but it is an investment for you to get the right guidance that sir even if a question with a twist com comes in the examination how to tackle it very important let's see now there are three types of uh, 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 drinks one is soft drinks another fresh produce and the packaged food so there are basically three different lines revenues are given to you right for three different lines 39 lakh 67500 1 crore 5 lakh 3000 60 lakh 49500 cost of goods sold is given to you 30 lakh 75 lakh and 45 lakh cost of bottles returned is 60000 now this cost is only and only for the soft drink uh, part right not for the fresh produce not for the packaged food cost of bottles returned this cost is directly attributable to only one department that is uh, soft drinks number of purchase orders is given to you number of deliveries received is given to you hours of shelf stocking time is given to you and the number of items sold is given to you right family store also provides the following information for the year 2021 bottles returned returning of empty bottles what is the total cost 60000 now if you see here the cost of returning 60000 that is directly attributable to the soft drink and it is given like this only the cost allocation base direct tracing to the soft drink line now what is this basically this is nothing but the cost driver that is given to you cost driver that is given to you now for this particular cost that is return of empty bottle 60,000 it is cost driver is her it is directly traceable to one line only right ordering description of activity placing of orders right uh, 7 lakh 80,000 is the total cost and 1560 is the purchase orders that means the uh, the cost driver here is the number of purchase orders basically right and the purchase orders are given to you here clear delivery physical delivery and the receipt of the goods total cost is 12 lakh 60,000 and 3150 is the total deliveries this means the cost driver here is the number of deliveries right number of deliveries 
शेल्फ स्टॉकिंग द टोटल कॉस्ट इज एट लैख सिक्सटी फोर थाउजेंड एंड हाउ मेनी आर्स एट थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी टोटल आर्स गिवन टू यू कस्टमर सपोर्ट असिस्टेंस प्रोवाइडेड टू द कस्टमर्स इंक्लूडिंग द चेकआउट इट इज डिपेंडेंट अपॉन द नंबर ऑफ आइटम्स सोल्ड right number of items sold so what what does this mean basically this means that if you have 1560 purchase orders the total cost for this much this many purchase orders is 780000 if you are doing 3150 deliveries the total cost of doing these deliveries is 1260000 clear so this cost is basically for these many deliveries for these many hours for these many items sold clear now what is required he says family store currently allocates support cost what is a support cost sir he say it is given here all cost other than cost of goods sold right sir cost of goods sold is given to us in the question like this what are the other cost these are your these are your support cost these are your support cost right all the costs other than cost of goods sold cost of goods sold is given to you but all the cost other than cost of goods sold is your support cost okay he says currently what is the uh, method they are adopting family store currently sup allocate support cost to product lines right how this cost of uh, 7,80,000 Or twelve lakh sixty thousand, or eight lakh sixty four thousand, or fifteen lakh thirty thousand. How these costs are being allocated between the three lines? He says on the basis of cost of goods sold of each product line. Right? What is the percentage of cost of goods sold? Calculate the operating income and the operating income as a percentage of revenue for each product line. Now he says this allocation is to be done on the basis of cost of goods sold. right how it is to be done we'll see that now in the second part he says if the family store allocates the support cost to product line using the activity based costing system right using an activity based costing system calculate the operating income and operating income as a percentage of revenue for each product line now currently what they are doing is currently they are not following the activity based system currently what they are doing is they are following it on the basis of cost of goods sold but in the second part he says if they follow activity based uh, system what will happen right now what is my total support cost bottles return 60000 ordering 780000 delivery 1260000 shelf stocking is 864000 customer support is 1536000 so total support cost is 45 lakhs now this is being distributed among the three departments on the basis of cost of goods sold right that means what is my cost of goods sold in proportion with this 45 lakhs what is my total cost of goods sold it is given in the question sir total is 30 plus 75 plus 45 right so he says percentage of support cost to cost of goods sold right if my cost of goods sold is 1 crore 50 lakhs that is 30 plus 75 plus 45 right so if my cost of goods sold is 1 crore 50 lakhs in that case my support cost is 45 lakhs that means how much percentage 30% right this 30% says support cost is 30% of cost of goods sold right my support cost is 30% of cost of goods sold now very simple sir for each line you know the cost of goods sold that is given in the question so take the 30% of cost of goods sold will give you the support cost simple right let's see okay we'll come to this later on let's see the first part statement of operating income and operating income as a percentage of revenue when the support cost are allocated to product line on the basis of cost of goods sold of each product what is revenue it is given to you in the question any doubts no sir cost of goods sold given to us in the question no doubt what about the support cost this is what we just calculated we have calculated that support cost is 30% of cogs now cogs is given as 30 lakhs in the first department that means my support costs will be how much 9 lakh right that is 30% of 30 lakhs any doubt 
in the second case this is going to be 30 percent of 75 lakhs and 30 percent of 45 lakhs right so they are saying that the support cost is 30 percent of cogs that is what we have calculated simple what is my total cost my total cost will be cost of goods sold plus support cost b plus c right and what is my operating income operating income is revenue that is a minus total cost that is d a minus d that is what they have done and what is the percentage of revenue what is the percentage operating income as a percentage of revenue what revenue of that is my operating income this is my total revenue right out of this what is my operating income that is 67500 so i'll write 67500 divided by 39 lakh 67500 multiplied by 100 this will give me the operating income as a percentage of revenue right any doubts in this thing so this is the first part and this is what that store is currently operating upon right they are absorbing the support cost on the basis of cost of goods sold now in the second part they say if they want to follow the cost uh, this activity based costing then what will be the operating income right see for activity based costing there are very simple steps i have already discussed uh, in the youtube lectures i have given you the steps in the uh, lectures also in the conceptual lectures discussed on the youtube that the first step is the calculation of the cost driver rate right for that you have to identify the activity that is given you have to identify the total cost of that activity that is given you have to identify the cost driver that is given you have to identify the value of that cost driver that is given to you in the question very simple sir then where is the problem no problem sir just be careful in this question because what is happening is you don't have to calculate the cost driver for this bottle returned why because the whole cost is attributable to only one department right so there is no need of calculation of cost driver for this one right so they have calculated for ordering 7 lakh 80 thousand is the total cost and 1560 is the purchase order that means for 1560 purchase orders total cost is 7 lakh 80 thousand so what you need to calculate is for one purchase order what will be my cost that is rupees 500 per purchase order clear my total delivery cost is 12 lakh 60 thousand for how many deliveries 3150 deliveries what will be the cost for one delivery 400 per delivery shelf stocking time of 8 lakh 64 thousand for 8640 hours so 100 rupees per hour customer support total cost is 15 lakh 36 thousand and the number of items sold are 15 lakh 36 thousand items so rupees one per item sold so we have picked it from here only sir this table right now when we are going to prepare the statement the revenues part will remain the same that is given this is given bottle returned cost is directly allocated <coughs> are you getting what i'm saying i'm saying bottle return cost is allocated to the soft drinks department so you don't have to do anything rest now ordering cost ordering cost what we have calculated from here sir it is rupees 500 per order number of orders are given to you in the question for each department 360 840 and 360 right so on this basis you are going to distribute your cost that is 360 is to 840 is to 360 right or you can write here 360 multiplied by 500 this is the best way of writing 840 multiplied by 500 right then 360 multiplied by 500 any doubts similarly delivery cost sir we have calculated the cost per delivery 400 rupees and the number of deliveries for each department are given that is 300 2190 and 660 so you can write it like that right here 300 multiplied by 400 rupees here 2190 multiplied by 400 rupees here 660 multiplied by 400 rupees per delivery clear sir any doubt shelf stocking cost it is dependent upon the number of hours we have calculated the cost per hour that is 100 rupees and number of hours are given to us 
number of hours are given to us right that is 540 multiplied by 100 then we have 5400 multiplied by 100 then we have 2700 multiplied by 100 any doubts customer support cost on the basis of number of units being sold and what is the cost per unit one rupee right how many units you have sold sir one lakh twenty six thousand multiplied by one here eleven lakh four thousand multiplied by one and three lakh six thousand multiplied by one right so total cost you can get here what is the total cost total cost is cost of goods sold plus cost of bottles return plus ordering cost plus delivery plus shelf stocking plus customer support cost right this will be your total cost clear 35 lakh 40,000 this is your total cost what is your operating income then operating income is revenues minus the total cost this will give you the operating income and same way you can calculate the percentage that is 4,27,500 divided by 39,67,500 multiplied by 100 similarly for other cases right so this is how being done in the activity based costing a very simple question right simple if you are clear with your concepts that is why i always focus on the concept that concept clarity is very very important when you are talking about cost accounting why many people are running away from the cost accounting why they fear cost accounting the main reason of fear is that you are not clear with your concepts you fear that you will not be able to attempt the questions uh, in the examination why is that fear because you are not clear with your concepts is your if you are clear with your concepts then there is no fear sir if you have done enough practice if you have done the ICS study mat then there is no need of any kind of a fear at all most important is the concept clarity right many people say sir cost accounting is a practical subject zyada se zyada questions karwao sir questions nahi karwa rahe ho to aap achha nahi bada rahe ho theek hai na bhai kar lo hazar question kar lo concept clarity nahi hai aap kuch nahi kar sakte exam mein hazar question bekar hai aap logon ke liye karna wo right so concept clarity sabse zyada zaruri hai sabse zyada zaruri bhai main to specifically concept clarity pe bahut focus karta hu aur बहुत सारे बच्चों को इसीलिए पसंद नहीं आता कि भाई कॉन्सेप्ट ही करवाते जा रहे हो कॉन्सेप्ट ही करवाते जा रहे हो वो कहते हैं सर प्रैक्टिकल क्वेश्चन करवाओ कॉन्सेप्ट छोड़ो सॉरी दैट इज नॉट माय स्टाइल ऑफ टीचिंग ठीक है तो किसी को पसंद आए ना पसंद आए योर चॉइस ओके गाइस सो वी आर डन विद द एक्टिविटी बेस्ड कॉस्टिंग एंड इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर विल टेक अप द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑन कॉस्ट शीट राइट सो यू गाइज इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर टिल देन स्टे सेफ स्टे हेल्दी कीप स्टडिंग कीप शेयरिंग थैंक यू सो मच